here we are on Forest Art Reserve, um, and we're in an area called Dari. Uh, today we're going to just take a walk through the reserve, and we're going to see what we can find and see what the bog is giving us in terms of how we feel about the bog and what we can see and discover out here. The landscape is just so vast. Um, it feels like it could just go on forever and you can see some of the mountains in the distance and the hills but no one else is here and you can just be out here in nature and that you can experience all of it. So this here we have bog asphodel, um, so it's a really beautiful yellow colour and it only came out a few weeks ago so it comes out in um, late June, early July but up until now you know it's not there at all and then all of a sudden you've got these bright bursts of yellow coming up all over the bog um, and that's bog asphodel. find lots of little magical spots of colour all around. Um, you just have to keep your eyes on the ground. It's all really beautiful. Once you start to spot them, you can see them everywhere. So we literally just turned around from looking at some plants um, and we've come across uh, oblong sanji um, which has managed to find quite a feast for itself. So it's managed to find itself a massive dragonfly but also a common blue damselfly. What sanji do, they have these sticky hairs, uh, they're carnivorous plants so they have these sticky pl hairs that will catch insects and then will slowly digest them um, with enzymes um, so it's a pretty gruesome way to go for the insect but a really cool adaption of this plant um, out on the peatlands. Without the bog you know the sanju wouldn't have anywhere to go and it's not going to survive um, in other environments um, so the bog is really important for species like this to be able to continue to uh, thrive. about the bog is it's similar in a way to how when people talk about space and they talk about how insignificant space makes them feel um, so when you're out on the bog in this massive landscape and you're just a tiny little pinprick in the bog so it makes you feel kind of insignificant but it's nice in a way um, to still be part of the landscape but um, yeah such a tiny part of it it's a change in perspective um, and makes you really think about, I think to me it makes you think about how important this place is and how even if we can do a tiny little thing as this tiny person um, to help the bog, you know, we are just tiny in comparison to how important this place is.